Hello and welcome. My name is Volders from Dicadata, and today we will be taking a look at Dell's latest mid-range storage solution, the PowerStore 500T. PowerStore was launched in May 2020, with this, the PowerStore 500T joining the lineup in June 2021. Let's have a look in the box and see what gets delivered when you order a PowerStore 500T. So in this box we have the nice shiny PowerStore bezel, the rack rails to put them in your rack, four SFP decks, four power cables, AEC 13 to C19, I don't know why. Environmental compliance notice. The key for the security bezel. Warning labels to put on your power cables so that people don't accidentally pull it out. We have a disposable wrist strap bracelet, anti-static, and a couple of heat stabilized zip ties. Let's see what's under this. Now we're getting to the power store itself. Lots of foam packaging to make sure that your power store gets to you in one piece, and then it comes wrapped in lovely pink plastic. This is quite heavy. The power store 500T we have here has got 10 by 1.92 drives, and if configured in the 8 plus 1 RAID 5 config, you're going to be looking at about 50.97 terabytes of effective capacity. The power store runs on a 4 to 1 dedupe and compression ratio. This is guaranteed by Dell. The drive options available for the power store are 1.92 terabytes, 3.84, 7.68, and 15.36 terabyte. This is an all NVMe chassis. This is looking at the front panel of the power store 500T. We can see the 10 by 1.92 terabyte NVMe drives. The chassis has a maximum capacity of 25 disks. This gives you an effective capacity of around 1.2 petabytes in a 2U chassis. This is exceptional density for a SAN. Another advantage of the PowerStore models is that it is a single disk upgrade. You don't need to buy lots of disks to increase your capacity. You can just buy a single disk at a time as you run out of space. You also don't need to worry about keeping in line with the size that you currently have. For instance, this chassis has the 1.92 terabytes. You can very easily just add the 3.84s, the 7.68s, or the 15.36 and it will rebalance the pool and give you that extra capacity. Front of the power store with the security bezel attached. The power store 500T we have here is in the base config. There is space to add two extra expansion modules, none of which have been configured in this version. We can add 10 gig base T, 25 gig SFP, 10 gig SFP, and both 16 and 32 gig FC options in these slots. On the base config, we have, here we can see the power supply. This is the hot swap 1450 watt power supply. You've got your MES card, which was the 25 gig iSCSI card. You've got your SAS expansion slots. You've got your onboard 10 gig iSCSI ports. There is your management port. These are the two expansion bays in which you can put the 25 gig, the 10 gig iSCSI options, or the 16 or 32 gig fiber channel options. The controllers are also hot swap. Let's pull out the top sled. That is the size of one of the controllers. Some of the service compartments of the sled. Here we have the 25 gig MES card. We have the main processing board. We've got our single CPU, and we've got six sticks of RAM. There are all your hot plug fans. Here's the top, which shows you how to remove your battery backup unit, how to remove the cover, fan removal, and your M.2 drives, which the OS sits on. There's a look of what it, the motherboard looks like, power supply, the input output modules, which aren't in this version, and the embedded module, which was that 25 gig riser card. There are your DIMMs, CPU, and your Bay of Six fans. Here is 
a view of the back where we have one gig management port, SCV port, the MES card again, your two input output modules and your hot plug power supply. With the two connectivity options on the PowerStore 500T, you are able to direct attach with FC, but when you are going with iSCSI in either the 10 gig or the 25 gig, you will require switching. Obviously the best switch to go for would be a Dell switch, maybe a pair of Dell S5212Fs to give you nice 25 gig switching. Thanks for spending time with me today having a look at the Dell PowerStore 500T. If you have any further questions or would like to know a bit more about it, please feel free to reach out to dell.presales at dickadata.com.au.